blessed. I've had so many great moments. Uh, I would have to say is being on the podium, uh, winning the championship in my hometown, Detroit, because I was just about to retire the year before, decided to come back, and the Super Bowl is in my hometown. We get there. You know, we have this this team that's you know an amazing football team. So many stories, and for us to be able to, to then go and win, and then to retire on the podium, it was you, know, you just that story usually doesn't happen. Uh, as for it to happen to me, it was like you know uh, pinch me because uh, I was dreaming. I got an opportunity to to be traded, you know, from. Uh, the St. Louis Rams to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Fortunately for me, I had a hand in it in that I got an opportunity to choose which team I wanted to be traded to. There was two opportunities, one the Tennessee Titans and the other team was the Pittsburgh Steelers and I wanted to play uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers because of the history, uh, but not only the history of the team, the history at the running back position in particular because it, it was a history of big running back, so I was really excited about the opportunity to go and play in Pittsburgh. The first time I got a chance to put the helmet on and I thought to myself, you know, I'm representing all the other players that's worn this helmet, it's worn this logo before me. So it was like, uh, it was a proud moment for me to have an opportunity to now represent the Pittsburgh Steelers. It ain't gonna take nothing more than your best. That's all you got. Guys, greatness is only a few feet away from us. It's up to us to walk that mile. No, I, I could have never dreamed that, that my career would have been uh, what it was in Pittsburgh. Obviously, I thought that I was gonna have success in Pittsburgh, but not go into a class of, of player uh, that was able to don gold jackets. And so I was going into uh, that organization, but never thought that I would be in that family of player for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Better springs to the goal line, touchdown Pittsburgh! Ah! Ah! You know, Dick Hope was, was huge in, in my playing career uh, because of what he did in terms of just, you know, nudging me along uh, through my career in Pittsburgh, uh, Bill Cowher you know, just continuously challenging me throughout my career the entire time. You say to yourself, you know, he's he's the guy who kept me going and and always got kept me motivated when when things were, were kind of up and down. So I've got to say Bill Cowher is, is one of them. Uh, my parents, because, you know, they were there every single football game. So when I had good games, they saw it. When I had bad games, they saw it. And they, they never had a problem with interjecting what they felt was um, uh, their, their idea of what I needed to do uh, to become a better football player.